Hello everyone, this is Jim from International Camera Techs. Um, today we're going to go ahead and we're going to do an F3. This is pretty beat and battered F3. Picked it up off the, um, off the internet. Um, and we're going to do it in a few parts here. We're going to take it apart. We're going to fix what's wrong with it. Um, only thing I've done to this camera is take, giving it a quick once over. Um, taking a look at it. Um, it's got somebody that's been in here kind of messing around with a big chip taken out of this part here uh, Missing a screw don't know why um, Someone probably took it for something uh, Seals are shot seals need to be done looks like leatherette was peeled at one point Button of course is ready to fall out. We'll take care of that at some point So I will probably pull the whole front out of this thing. But first of all, what I'm going to do is give a CLA um, and how I do a CLA, uh, um, which is just, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna uh, clean the magnet, I'm gonna clean the speed dial over here, uh, not speed dial, but the ASA dial, and I'm gonna check on the bottom, see what ugliness is down there. Um, we got this to clean up. There's a lot of things to do on this camera. I did a speed check, and this is on uh, half a second. And it's just releasing so this thing is not holding any speeds whatsoever and I don't know why the second um, curtain magnet is not holding I'm gonna check that out see if we can repair that so without too much more yapping we're gonna get right into it so I'm gonna pull the prism off set it aside it's got a cool screen I like the grid screen so um, go ahead and get my grid screen out of there that up to the side all right so my first job I always like to check and see what it looks like under the bottom everything goes down to the bottom so if the bottom's all messed up then I know someone's been into it so that screw goes if there's a screw here that would go you don't have to take the cover off the cover was missing on mine take off this screw here for the motor drive coupler on a keyed shaft pull that off and yeah it's pretty common to hear that and out it comes all righty I go ahead and put this back on some cameras that gear underneath there can actually raise back up and then next thing you know a camera does some weird stuff and you're wondering why it's not a big deal if it does you just have to retime it it's not uh, really hard to retime. So it looks to me like we'll probably end up pulling the front on this one. God, what is going on with this screwdriver? This screwdriver is junk. I'm gonna put it way over there so I don't grab it anymore. I'm right-handed, so I always, if I put something over here, if I see something over, I tend to pick it up right away. Alrighty, so I know I don't have any speeds just no speed whatsoever. This is one second, and that's another one second. So we'll go ahead, take speed dial off, whole side over here off. Uh, that's probably not the one I want. That one's better. Okay, three set screws. Europeans like to call them grub screws. Pretty small. And they don't really want to come off. And that guy don't want to come off. We'll get him in a second here. A drop of acetone on there. Let's see if I have a better screwdriver. That's probably a better one. Shh, that happens. Glad it wasn't my finger. There we go. Yeah, I've jammed screwdrivers in my finger before. Okay, comes off. 
there's always a spring down the middle that guy needs to come off and there the e-ring I just pull one side work it around go to the other side work it on up once it's up a little bit it just comes right off no big deal this needs to come it's got one little cut out right there so that little kick out there needs to go into a cutout, otherwise it doesn't come off. Okay, winding lever. Fairly tight, most of them, but they're not too bad. Okay, ring comes off. Button and spring comes off. This sometimes comes with, this is the plunger, and there is a brass collar. There it is. Yeah, that's oxidized pretty bad. I think that's what I'm going to find. I'm going to find a lot of oxidation on all the contacts. And so, yeah, it's not working. Um, screw comes off. All right, so we'll take the wind lever off. Four screws. These are short. Little short screws. Conical head screws. This is your multi-exposure lever that needs to come off. I use a, um, these are round nose pliers. I've been using them for years. Just get in there. They've been shaped with the Dremel, so they come to nice little strong points. Levers out. All right, want to take this guy off. This is actually your on and off switch. It's amazing how people don't know this is an on and off switch. Weird thing is an on and off switch. There it is. Finally moved. Oh, that's tight. Some weird, something weird is going on with that. I think it's broken. I'm gonna have to replace that. Come on. Okay. Once they start to move, they usually good after that. You just have to break them free. This one's always awkward. I thought at some point to make a tool for it, but never got around to it. This one here, you do have to be careful. If you slip, you're going to scratch the body. People don't like it when you scratch your camera. see anything nothing looks broken a little bit of rust I think this is what I'm gonna be dealing with um, it's just basically needs attention all right everything's done on this because I can come up sometimes they want to stick down so I tend to get over here under the body and just kind of like start persuading it to come up be careful not to not to uh, scratch it there there we go that's out Ugly, nasty looking. All right, what do we got here? Um, nothing that looks like really horrible. So we're gonna get the speed out of the way. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put the wind lever back on. So we're gonna have to wind and release, so we might as well do it now. And I know it takes four screws, but only four, two screws are really needed, probably just one, but go ahead and put that down in. Okay, so there we go. That's on. Put my collar down. Put the shaft in there and put in the release assembly. The least I can release the camera. And there we go. I got it in self timer right now. Voila. And the speed is, bring it to around one second. And that's not one second. Okay, so let's take a look at this um, magnet over here and see why we're not getting a one second. Okay, so I'm gonna keep those separate from the winding. Unless that's a much bigger screw. I'll be careful. 
I just lay that over here. So when you wind, you wind here, you release, boom, that's B, your B lever's here, click that out, there, releases. So this guy almost always keeps it out until you go into B, and then boom, it keeps it in there, boom. So if you have this off and it doesn't release on your speed, just kick that out. All right, winning base plate, not a big deal. Except I'm gonna need a soldering iron for it. Okay, so we got one screw here. Let's get this guy out, it's tight. There. That's the tightest screw I've come across so far. Yep, these are all pretty tight. So nobody's been into this section here. That can dangle, just be careful. I always just let it dangle. And just trying to get my soldering iron up to temperature. It takes a little longer on this one. And so I have to come and desolder this wire right here. Okay, so let me pull that open. Pull this up for loves to get caught on this little piece of plastic. Push the plastic out of the way. All right, slowly wobble that out. This is um, connected into the shaft. Some of these on the old ones actually have a full um, piece of metal right here with a hole drilled in it. And that slips down over the shaft and you gotta take everything off. But this one's uh, a newer style, so that's good. All right, so your release magnet is there. The second curtain release magnet is there. Get to it, take this screw out here. Take the plate off, take a look down. Uh, generally, I'm looking to see how all this looks. It actually looks in really good shape. Timing switch is up in here, and there's also one down in here. Um, let's clean the magnet, make sure this magnet is working correct. So on any service, I always do this. I use um, alcohol. I use denatured alcohol. I use something that doesn't burn plastic because that's plastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and I clean this. The other thing is, is this, this could be bad too. It could have a bad coil in there. And so no matter what, we're not gonna get any speeds. Okay, <clears throat> so I went ahead, did that, Let's put the plate back on. Hopefully that was the problem. Two things are gonna go here. You got cutouts here that dries, that's driven from here. That cutout dries the counter. So cut out there, it's got a, the rod with the pin through it. Okay, the anti-backup is here. That's got to go into that little slot, that, that, that pin. That's, oh. Other than that, there's nothing else you need to worry about. Um, oh, except for the uh, counter engagement. Pin is here. Push that all the way back. It's going to hit here. So, since I always wrap it around the post first. Make sure that guy's gonna fall in. This guy almost always falls in, but sometimes you just have to rotate just a little bit. And just make sure that the pin over here is gonna push your counter. Once you're all sure of that, let it sit. Boom, down. Put a few screws in. Charged. Second here, we're gonna see if this thing actually has a speed. Oh, there's a speed. So really all we had was a bunch of junk all over the um, the second curtain magnet. Now we have speeds, so we can get exposures. So that was pretty much it. And this doesn't happen every time. A lot of times I see bad switches over here, um, down under here. Um, other issues can call, cause it not to run speeds. Um, this one just happened to be kind of an easy one. 
I usually clean those because they usually give, instead of no speeds, usually give very erratic speeds. So um, you'll get a, you'll get like a one second, you'll get a half second, and, and it just doesn't work very well. nice it's a nice sounding camera i'm gonna put a pause on it right at this moment because i don't want my video to run too long and then we'll do a bunch of stitching on videos <laughs>